The Imperial Security Bureau is not a new concept to the Star Wars universe, but it is one that we've never seen as closely as we have during the Andor series. And for that closer look, Nicholas Bertel adapts a theme to be used for the character and plot points of the Bureau and the Empire as a whole. The initial movement in the theme is a descending half-step. This motion already tells us so much about the ISB. The half-step, being the smallest in Western music, is a great way for composers to reflect something slithering, sneaking, or otherwise devious in tactics. We hear the same motion in Andor's theme, which I broke down before to reflect his subterfuge actions. But unlike Cassian's theme, this one continues to move entirely in steps, outlining that minor scale. Its initial descending or downward movement contrasts that of the series' protagonist as well. By oftentimes writing this theme in thirds as well, Brattel quickly and more clearly defines the minor nature of the music. But this theme didn't come originally from Nicholas Brattel. Instead, it's an adaptation of an older and much earlier theme. If we go back all the way to 1977, one of the first themes that we hear is this short motif for the Empire. Now, remember that in 1977, John Williams had not yet written the now iconic Imperial March for Vader or the Empire. So different motifs were used instead at that time. The original motif does a turn or half-step motion downward first before leaping up by a minor third. This same motif would come back throughout A New Hope and would also find its way into the music near the end of Empire Strikes Back, among other places within the franchise, albeit dwarfed by the use later of the Imperial March. And so it makes sense for Brattel to adapt this early motif since the Andor series takes place before A New Hope, and therefore long before the introduction of the Imperial March. However, instead of keeping the ascending minor third leap, Brattel's theme moves up by step to outline an ascending major third. This though is simply a result of him beginning on the third scale degree of the minor scale and using the resulting notes and intervals, but we can still hear that notable contour of the theme. This same tactic was used by composer Natalie Holt during the Kenobi series, again harking back to the original motif by John Williams. But Bertel's theme goes further in his connection throughout its two phrases. The first phrase is played over top the tonic, or the first note of the minor scale, which would be set a minor third below the actual melody. This, paired with the notes of the theme, clearly outlines a minor chord. However, for the second phrase, the bass line drops by a major third to what we would consider to be the lowered sixth scale degree. This shift, this drop of the major third is a direct reflection now of the Imperial March and Vader's theme which I broke down before and its unnatural movement to that same scale degree. The theme mirrors this movement by also dropping a major third, giving us a chromatic chord outside the key entirely, as Brattel uses a lowered first scale degree, creating a chord that feels very unnatural to our ears, and which is commonly referred to as a chromatic mediant. But it also immediately draws us back to Vader and the Imperial March. Occasionally, Bertel will then turn this chord into a secondary dominant chord, which I always personally find striking. He does this by raising the third of the chord and adding a minor seventh on top, creating a major minor chord. This chord immediately insinuates a specific resolution up a half step from the original tonic. However, the progression is usually ended abruptly at this point, creating a lingering tension from the lack of resolution. And so, the chord, the harmony, the theme, and the ISB go back into the shadows and into hiding, waiting for the next moment to locate their victims in the name of the Empire. But let me know what you think. How do you feel Bertel handled adapting this iconic motif by Williams into what we heard in Andor Season 1, and was there anything you wished he had done differently? Let me know if I missed anything, and before you go, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to learn more about the music of a galaxy far, far away.
And as always, may the be with you.